Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Steady Clapping, aka King SK, and we coming to you guys with a freaking GKS gameplay commentary. And guys, I don't know if many of you have this GKS Mastercraft, but I remember I don't I don't remember what exact YouTuber uploaded this GKS Mastercraft variant when it first came out, but when I saw, it went absolutely nuts, and Kill action I. I couldn't get it for the longest, like, basically, when the fad for this weapon was, like, dead and gone, that's when I finally got it, and then when I got it, I used it so much, I mean, I dropped a hardcore nuclear with it, and then, um, you really didn't hear about this weapon anymore, so I decided to revisit it, um, just because, you know, there's so many, uh, stipulations and, uh, rumors and things of that sort against this weapon and I just wanted to see for myself is this weapon actually as bad as the community makes it and I don't know guys uh, with the class setup that I had on this weapon I actually enjoyed using it um, this was the first game that I did use it and I dropped a nuke with it um, so I, I don't know I, I just maybe think maybe they had a bad class setup with this gun um, I do know um, and other recent like without the mastercraft the regular weapon and not having attachments i know i did struggle a lot with this weapon and uh end up saying some really really bad things about it <laughs> i know that for sure but um now that i have um weapons um, well not weapons but attachments this is definitely all i used on this gun and i i loved it i absolutely loved it like i said we did end up dropping the nuke um they bring this uh, deathmatch domination game, um, featured game mode back, and I've been loving it, man. Um, me and some boys squatted up, and we just dominated lobbies. Um, yeah, we, we, we did a thing. So, uh, guys, like I said, we drop a nuke in today's video, so go ahead and definitely. Wow, I got you guys' attention still. Go ahead and drop a like. Subscribe if you are brand new here to the Clapping Kingdom. If you have just subscribed on my last video, I want to welcome all of my new subscribers to the Clapping Kingdom. For we always clapping cheeks. Clapping cheeks, cla cla clapping cheeks, clapping cheeks, cla cla clapping cheeks. You know the vibe. You know the vibes. Let's get jiggy. Ah. Uh, so, yep. Welcome guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you guys are a part of this up and coming movement. Clapping Kingdom is on the rise, baby. And uh I'm glad that you guys could be a early contribution to the bigger picture of this community and I cannot wait for the future. I cannot. But uh for right now, for the present. Guys definitely try this class at about like I said, suppressor, double grip, quick draw. Try it out, guys. Try it out. I did use Comsec, and I was using Flak Jacket and Gung Ho. Gung Ho is so important for this weapon. It is so important. You have to run Gung Ho with this weapon. You cannot use Dexterity because it's, this this is one of those weapons where I, I rarely even crouch shot it or jump shot it. I just straight up slayed. At the most, you see me like um slide cancel. At the most. But this weapon, you definitely want to be straight for As we got a little spawn trap right there, I was not expecting. That guy, he knew I was there, or it, he just knew that that was my only option. But um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to act like these guys were the best players. They won't. Like, majority of the, some of these kills, they're just standing. Like, they're just, they just gave up. They're just like, uh, I'm not going to win anyway. I'm going to just stand here and die. And, um, that played a key factor in getting a nuke, honestly. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna take credit like I, I sweated so hard for this nuke. I did not. It was a calm nuke. Uh, it just basically, you know, as long as I stayed focused and kept myself in the right predicaments, I was good. I tried to go for a double and, uh, switch up the gameplay and use the MX-9, but, um, I'm not gonna, uh, not gonna show that part of the gameplay. I'm just gonna show the nuclear, and that's just gonna be uh, pretty much it for this gameplay. Because uh, after that, I died a little bit too much than what I would rather died. I uh, switched off the weapon. That's why I uh, I got greedy. I tried to go for a double, and uh, 
it, it definitely showed. <laughs> and then I, I started, like, I was pushing for time as we clutched that brutal right there. I was pushing for time, and I really wanted to drop the double. So I started pushing things I shouldn't have pushed. I started putting myself in positions that I shouldn't have been in. And, like I said, it showed. But, um, best thing I can say that works really well for me is UAV counter, suppress weapons when going for nuclears, and stick it to the outskirts of the map. Like, challenging something like that wasn't the best idea, but just because this lobby wasn't the best, I chowled it. Yeah, like, these, these guys don't even pre-aim corners. They don't. They just run. So we're 32-0 at this moment right here. On to the next round where we get busy. So well, here's the next round. This is where I will get the nuclear. I do take this um, round tremendously slow. Like I said, I did not want to put myself in a predicament where I would die off this nuke. I did not want to be heartbroken. Um, I did, I did drop back-to-back -back nukes. Like the game before this one, I dropped a VKM nuke. So <laughs> it was back-to-back. -back. It just wasn't a double in one game. And guys, I was absolutely freaking out. I was screaming at my teammates. I was like, if you guys don't get this stupid car off of me, we're gonna have a serious problem. I die off this nuke. Serious. And nobody shot it off me. And nobody shot that stupid car off of me. Let, let's just get a rip in the chat for the, uh, not the chat, in the comment section for the teammates, man. Because, uh, that, that was a real selfish move of them. Those guys just absolutely skipped me, went for the kills. They did not care if I was going to die or not. And none of them was on a nuke streak. If anything, they were on a streak for a UAV. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, guys, do me a huge favor as we just dropped that nuclear, baby. Let's go. Let's get some nuke hype. And look, we're new here as we're on the road to 300 subscribers. 300 guys we need to hit 300 honestly i feel like we should have already hit 500 subscribers already but um we're just taking a little bit of time piece by piece by piece and I, i'm okay with that um i'm on your time guys and yeah well the uh, guys yeah that's just gonna wrap up uh that video for you guys 35 and one we died after getting like one unstoppable but the uh, guys gks mastercraft the Unicorn Mastercraft GKS is so vibrant, it's absolutely amazing, it looks beautiful. And guys, if you did take notice, I didn't get many kills with my uh, Reaper. My Reaper Tommy Gun, I didn't get many kills. I didn't get many kills with it at all. I know most, uh, a lot of people um, bash YouTubers for using the Specialist to, you know, basically secure the nuclear. It, I mean, it's just a strat, guys. It's just literally a strat. I mean, honestly, if you know the Tommy gun is so much stronger than your uh, main gun, why not use it when you're 5 off a nuke, 10 off a nuke, and it guarantees you 10 kills as we lag so terribly bad right there. But uh, yeah, guys, this is where we switch to MX9. I'm going to cut the gameplay here. So yes, yes, sir. Drop a like, subscribe if you are brand new. Even if you're not brand new and you're a returning viewer, go ahead and hit that sub button. Guys, 60% of you are not even subscribed, so go ahead and subscribe. And uh, this has been your boy, Steady Clapper, a.k.a. King SK. I'm signing out, guys. Peace.